Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how you can empower the end user to refresh your Power BI dataset based on his requirement using the Power Automate. So what this basically does is we will create a button here to create a trigger to refresh the Power BI dataset so that the end user is seeing the real time data that is available back in your database. So this is what we will be learning today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that we will be doing here is inserting the Power Automate visual. So you can go to this particular drop down here and choose the Power Automate visual. And then let's select this particular visual over here and choose one of the columns from our data set. And once that is done, you can click on these three buttons over here and then click on edit. So once you click on edit, you will enter the Power Automate. I hope you would have already been signed in by now. So this will take you to the Power Automate flow. And once you are on this particular screen over here, let's click on new and then select instant cloud flow. So what this will do is it will create a button for us to create that trigger to refresh our data set. So once you are on this screen over here, let's click on new step and then let's type in refresh data. And then let's select refresh a data set power bi and once we've selected this we'll have to choose the workspace that we have our data set in my data set is in the tutorials workspace i have already published my report there and then under data set i'm going to choose the data set that i want to refresh in this case it is refresh data set with pa i'm going to select this and then click on save and now let's add a new step so that it sends us an email whenever the data set has been refreshed. So I'm going to type in send mail and then come down over here and choose send an email v2 and then specify the email address here who needs to receive the email. I'm going to type my email ID over here and then type in my subject. I'm going to just say data set has been refreshed and then I'm going to just click on save. Okay, it's asking for the body as well. I'm going to just copy paste this and then click on save. Once this is done, you're going to click on save and apply over here. And once this is saved, it says you successfully applied the connection to your button. And now I'm going to go back to the report. Here you have the button created. You can resize the button to your desired shape and size. And then what I will now do is I'm going to quickly go to the view tab, click on format. Now let me quickly change the text of the button over here. I'm going to go here, go to the format button over here and under button text, I'm going to change this to refresh data set. So what I will now do is I'm going to publish this particular report to the Power BI service. I'm going to be republishing this particular report. It was already published. In order to refresh the data set, you will also need to create or set up a gateway to be able to refresh the data set. If you are not aware or don't know how to create the gateway to be able to refresh the data set, I have a separate tutorial on my channel. Please watch that tutorial to set up the gateway. And now what I will do is I'm going to come over here to refresh setting for the refresh data set with PA. And then under the gateway and cloud connections over here, I'm going to select my gateway and I have already created a, a gateway over here called as SQL, which is already set up. And then I'm going to just leave it at that. And now I'm going to go back into my workspace. Let me open the report that I have published. And now on my report, I have a button created over here, which says refresh data set. And then on this particular visual, I have the sales data for the year 2020, 2021, 2022. Now let me go back to my SQL server and then import my 2023 sales into my retail sales table. I'm going to quickly import this, finish. And then once this is imported, let's come back to Power BI and then let's hit the refresh data set button and see what happens. So now it says triggering and once it is triggered, the status will change to triggered. Let's wait for a second. Now you can see that it is changed to triggered and then Let's wait for a couple of seconds. I will receive an email with saying that my data set has been refreshed. And now you can see that I have received an email which says data set has been refreshed. Let's head back to Power BI and refresh our report. And now all we need to do is refresh visuals. Now the moment I clicked on refresh visuals, you see that the sales data for the year 2023 has started to appear on my data set. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been appeared here. So this particular trigger over here gives the end user the power to refresh the data set to be able to see the data real time. Now one thing to keep in mind over here is that the refreshes that you do from this particular trigger 
is only limited to the capacity that is available based on your subscription so if you have the power bi pro license you will be able to refresh the data set eight times a day and if you have the premium capacity you will be able to refresh up to 48 times a day so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials